Okay, welcome back. Very nice to see you've made it this far. Now we're going to start going into mapping a little bit more. What we're going to do is we're going to create two small rooms and we're going to texture them and we're going to join them and yeah, everything's going to be nice and fun. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to create a nice room. We'll do it up, uh, we'll do it down here in bottom left actually. So let me get to my zero zero, which is denoted by where the Z and Y axis uh let me move the camera out of the way so you can see that. You can see it there, and it's also there and there, uh, which means you're at zero zero coordinates. So let's we'll build a room, let's say 256 high, and we'll make it uh let's see about 448 long. Okay, so we can see that if we zoom right in over here. We can see that now. Very cool. And uh, we'll what we'll do is we'll move uh the item over here, we'll put it on its correct axis, which I should have done first really. But yeah, I'm uh I go around it in weird and wonderful ways sometimes, so if I ever start going off on one, my apologies. So here we go. Right. So what we're going to do now is we've got it 256 high, as you can see here in the bottom right window. You can all see, also see that in the bottom left. And it is uh, just over 256 wide. So I'm going to I'm going to increase the width. I'm going to do that by going to my resize tool up here, or by pressing the Q button. I'm going to drag it out, and we'll make it a whole 512. So now we've kind of got an oblong looking, it's almost boxy, but... Yeah, it's not quite there. So what we'll do is we'll hollow that out and we've got our first room. Now what we want to do is we want to connect another room into it and we want to make people go down a corridor to get there. So what we'll do is we'll uh, create a room, a smaller room just over here. Uh, it doesn't really matter what size it is. You can see I've got the size displaying. Uh, so we're going to make it, let's call it 200. Uh, we're going to make it about 195 high. And then we'll make it smaller. So we've got a small off room like this. Okay, now how would we get from one room to the other? Well, we could uh, we could create a, uh, a tunnel to go through or some type of bridge. But what we're going to do here is we're going to make some type of vent or duct that people will have to jump up into to get through to the other room. So what we'll do is we'll create a brush that goes between these two rooms like so. I'll just draw it across there and we'll make it so that players need to jump up to get into it and we'll make it like uh we'll make it 80 high. And you can see it comes through into this room and it's not very wide so we'll make it a little bit wider. Okay, so you can see it comes through into this room and if we go through into this room it's also there. Right now what we're going to do is we're going to use CSG subtract. Now we talked about that earlier. What subtract does is it actually allows you to use uh, a tool like this uh, or use a brush as a cutting brush so we can cut through other brushes and uh, create things like this like tunnels or you can use it to shape a door if you want to and numerous things like this. So what we're going to do is with our brush selected, we do shift and click to select it. We're going to click this button up here. It's called CSG subtract. And what you'll see is that puts some extra lines in our map. And it's basically what it's done is it's split the walls a little bit. If I can show you there, see now how that is three different walls uh, or three different brushes. And we've got this one in the middle. Now, obviously, we can't go through that because that's solid, so we can also hollow it out. We press hollow. Then we can shift-click the caps on the end and press backspace. We'll do the same there. And you can see now how they join up. Now, we can use the, we can use the resize tool to recess these and bring them closer into the, uh, the, the position of the walls so we don't have it all sticking out. Um, you'll find that there's many ways to um, resize in Radiant. Now, for example, you see I've got these two brushes selected, top and bottom. If I was to start resizing them in this bottom right window, you'd see that I can drag them and drag brushes into non-existence. 
Now that is very, very bad. If you ever do this, if you ever notice it happening, don't let go of your left click. You know, because if that brush is in non-existence, it could cause massive problems with your compiling. Or if you do do it, immediately hit Control Z. Alright, so watch out for that. What we're going to do here is, if we've got the top and bottom brushes selected, we'll use the view that will give us the best the best control over it. So, for example, this top one, I'm, I'm going to use that top right, because you're basically resizing by looking down on it like this, rather than trying to resize it by looking at it like this. So, it's a, you get better control over it, so we're going to drag that into the uh, position of the wall. We don't have to worry there about our brushes going into non-existence. So now we've got a nice, cool looking recess in the wall that we can jump through. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll texture this room so you can see the difference. Now again, see the wall is in different, on, even on this side it's been split into different brushes. That's not a problem. So we'll just select, um, we'll make this bricks. So we've got a nice brick room with tread plate on the floor and ceiling. And we'll we'll turn this into something cool. We'll put some textures in here. Um, let's have a quick look through. We'll choose that box metal texture. Uh, we won't bother lining it up or anything like this so far. Uh, on the top again we'll use, uh, no we'll use broken cement for the top. Okay. And then in our main room we have the regular bland looking dreary room but that will show you you know you can sort of jump up into there go through you can place a weapon in here and then you can run back out and do your fighting in this room now there's not a lot of scale going on in this map there's not a lot that can be done but you start off how you want you know you can start off small and just keep adding to the map in different ways you can use these subtraction brushes in numerous different ways to create uh, different things so for example I'll do it here um, I'll create a brush nice wide brush there and what we'll do is we'll drag it down just above floor level because what we don't want to do is we don't want to go subtracted through the floor or I don't want to in this tutorial because it will last forever then just cleaning up the other bits now you could have done this previous you could have built the wall with the door already in it Instead of drawing a, a full wall like this, you know, you could uh, separate these into three blocks of wall so that you leave a hole in the middle. It's up to you really how you go about doing it, but subtraction you've got to be careful with because sometimes you'll cut through things you don't want to. And we'll hit CSG subtract. Then we can delete that brush and we've got a nice hole that goes out to the outside. And we could add another room on there like so. We'll just drag it to there. We'll drag it out again. I'm not being particularly careful here. You should be when you're doing it. But at the moment, you know, I'm just trying to show you what's going on. Um, so we'll just drag that out and drag it up quite a bit. And oops, we'll just get it to a nice size and then we can hollow it out. And if we deleted that bit, you'll see there we go into another room. Obviously, there's very the probably is leak points around about here which wouldn't surprise me if the if there was you've got to be very careful how you subtract and uh, use brushes like this but it just gives you an idea of how you can go about making uh, small rooms now we're gonna take a look at entities in the very next video because that's when it starts to become interesting that's when you start telling the game where you want the players to start from where you want your weapons placed and where you want models and, and things like that. So we'll look at them over in the next video. This was just a quick look at subtracting and uh, using hollow and what basically the tools you're going to use to build your map. So we'll see you in the next video.